students are on Chinese government scholarships. And since the crisis started, the Chinese government has done its best to keep them supplied with food and other logistics. The Ghana government, through its mission, also supplies logistics, and the embassy has given, so far, 500 United States dollars to each student. However, we know that no amount of logistics will make up for the extreme stress and stroma that these young people are going through. And I treat members of this honorable house to set an example by helping to pour oil over troubled waters instead of instigating tension and spreading fear and panic among the young people. The government is in constant touch with experts on the subject who advise that the basic principle of public health is to confine the disease to the area of its origin. But we have not ruled out the option of evacuating the students from Wuhan if that becomes necessary. We have put in place measures to ensure that their evacuation back into Ghana, if it happens, does not lead to the dissemination of fear and panic amongst the general population. 